Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I am your host, Chris Torrance. If you remember last time, we took a look at adding lowercase support to the Apple II Plus, and I found a couple of problems with the approach that I took, so I'm gonna go over what happened and how I fixed them. So if you recall from last time, I modified the Apple II Plus to add lowercase support by changing the character ROM as well as the F800 ROM on the Apple language card. And when I booted up the CFFA 3000 card in the Apple II Plus, the first thing I noticed is that the menus looked pretty messed up because it was actually using inverse characters such as symbols, numbers, to indicate the menu items. And because I put the lowercase there, they looked kind of weird. So I decided to actually change that and what I did is I actually moved the lowercase characters into the flashing area and basically turned off all of the flashing characters except for the space bar. So now when you do a backspace over a bunch of characters they'll still be an in inverse but they won't be flashing. And I figured it's better to just get rid of support for flashing characters than mess up inverse since inverse is used much more commonly on Apple II Plus. So all was good except then the next problem I noticed is I couldn't boot up into ProDOS. So DOS worked fine, all other programs worked fine, but if I tried to boot into ProDOS I just got this mysterious uh, relocation error. And this took some digging around but what I discovered is that the byte, if you recall, I actually had put my extra subroutine for doing the backspace characters and the inverse into FBB3 uh, because there was a bunch of no-ops there. There was 14 no-op EA instructions. Unfortunately, ProDOS and other applications actually use the byte at FBB3 to decide whether it's a straight Apple II or an Apple II Plus. So they're actually looking for an EA there, and if they don't see it, then they assume that it's just an Apple II, and things go haywire. So what I had to do was burn a new ROM, and instead of starting it at FBB3, I start my little subroutine at FBB4 instead, and then of course I have to change the jump instruction over here in the read key routine. So after I made those couple modifications, then everything seemed to work correctly. So if you're going to follow my approach to add lowercase support, be sure to not put anything that starts at FBB3, otherwise you might mess up applications. So let's go over to the Apple II Plus now and we'll look at how the lowercase support works and make sure everything's working properly with ProDOS. All right, so here's my Apple II Plus and here's my language card with my brand new F8 ROM in it with my modifications. Here's the CFFA 3000 card, and I'm using a USB stick uh, with a 32 megabyte smart port drive on it. So let's go ahead and we'll fire it up and make sure everything looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire up the Apple II Plus and make sure everything works okay. So first of all, let's check our fix for the ROM. So there's some uppercase, I hit shift reset to switch to lowercase. Let me type some numbers and some symbols. And when I hit the backspace, you can see it blinks for spaces. If I go over other characters, then it just shows it's solid, but it actually shows the correct character. So now let's go ahead and fire up the CFFA 3000 and, oops, I'm going to have to switch back to caps lock mode so it understands the commands. And I'll hit M when it comes up. So we get into the menu and you can see the menu all looks good. So before, with my other ROM, these actually look like really weird characters like a Q and an X and a B and stuff like that. So now this looks a lot better. Uh, now let's go ahead and we'll try and boot up some ProDOS. So let's put in 
this one and we will remove that one and that looks good and then we'll go ahead and hit boot okay so there we go so it was really quick but we booted into ProDOS uh, we didn't get any errors like last time so it looks like everything works well and I would encourage you if you want to get lowercase on your Apple II Plus to go ahead and make this modification and I'm going to go ahead next and try and modify Apple Writer so I can actually use lowercase characters with it. Uh, so in the meantime, keep hacking away at your apples and I'll see you next time.